Teenage Howard, are you actually doing anything? Oh, you're doing your air quotes juggling thing again. Yeah, we, we mostly just call that goofing off. But hey, whatever you're into, kid. Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here, back with some more of the Guild 3, where I'm sitting down in the town market here, telling people how absolutely amazing we are, because we've blown all of our influence. We're down to 33 influence. I blew it all on getting a different business. We are now up to, what are we now? We are a resident. Okay, we're a resident, which means we can have a third business. I've unlocked it with the influence. I just need the money to open something up. So crude craftsman or tinker or potter, I haven't really made a decision on that yet. I mean, it's going to be a ways off until we've got that kind of money. Now, speaking of money, hon, how are we doing in the graveyard? Are we making cool things here? What have we done? We've done, oh yeah, we've done a lamp. And we've done a couple of bone bracelets. We've got three more there. I could actually take that right now. You're working on another bone bracelet at the moment. I could grab that immediately and just go sell it. Try and get this money put together. Now, of course, I say that. It's going to cost me money to unlock this. And then, of course, it's going to cost me money to build the business. I really probably should not get the cart before the horse here. Let's just keep up on the money side of things. Speaking of which, Fake Plant, you're hunting rats over here. How's that working out for you, kid? Uh, no, come here. Come here. I want to talk to you. You, come here. How's that working out for you with the rat hunting thing? Now, we, were all, we could also go play with somebody, which seems like a complete waste of time because that doesn't generate any money. Um, is there anyone around here to play with? Uh, anyone at all? Anyone? Nobody in green. Okay, all the kids are avoiding fake, fake plant like the plague, and that's actually something to take into account because, you know, the plague exists. So the kids in this neighborhood looked at Fake Plant and said, No, I'll take the plague, thank you. I will avoid Fake Plant and go for plague instead. Sorry about that, Fake Plant. I guess you're not very popular. How is Notepad doing stacking boxes? Because we have been stacking boxes for about, uh, how old are you now? Six. You've been stacking boxes for literally a year. You have been doing this. And good job, too, I might add. You're doing great at it, kid. Let me just run the numbers here and check in on everyone else. Alan, how are you doing? What are you doing right now? Where are you? You're coming back. You probably got some bones in your pocket there. You probably went to the graveyard. And uh, where is my air quotes juggler? Where's Teenage Howard? Just, just completely blowing off work. Just standing in the woods, not doing anything at all. You are... You're a complicated man, Teenage Howard. I get a complicated kid. Well, you're technically 21 now. I suppose you're not ostensibly a teenager anymore, but um, you're uh, you're terrible. It looks like I'm done telling people that we're amazing, so I'm just going to nip back to here and get that stuff out of there. So me, go over to Graves for You, uh, first of many chains in the grave digging industry. We will dominate the grave digging market around here. Lot of job security in being a grave digger. People die, people need a hole in the ground. All right, let's just get what we have made here. I say we, I didn't have anything to do with it. So get those out of there, get these out of here, and get that lamp out of here. They'll restock the front store, I'm not worried about that. Um, we're making a couple of bracelets right now. We're probably out of fish oil. Okay, I can deal with that. Fish oil I can cope with. We can get some right over in the market. It's a little bit pricey, but it will, well, it's what we need. The bone lamps are the only things that are making us any kind of money right now. Just hollow out somebody's skull, put some fish oil in it, set fire to it, and everyone's pretty chill about that. All right, let's see what we can do here. So let's sell all of these off. Yeah, there's some money to be made there. Confirm that. Get that lamp out of here. Confirm that. Eh, it's a little bit of money. I'm going to spend most of it right now on fish oil, but, you know, there it is. That's what we need. So fish oil, okay, how about we got, let's see, it takes two to make one lamp. So if we got... Oh, there's half my money gone right there. Uh, sure, confirm that. There's most of my money uh, gone. But hey, you know what? That's the, that's the price of doing business. You need to sell bones and skull lamps to get the fish oil so you can make more skull lamps. I know, I've been told a couple of times I should go into the fishing trade and then I can have my own fish oil. But, I mean, the fish... Like, selling the fish thing seems like a very low-rent kind of thing. I'm looking for something that will make us quantity of money. I, I want things that make big amounts of money, and I feel that the craftsman thing is the direction to go in. All right, dump these off in storage, and we're good. You've actually made two more bracelets since the last time I was here. I'm just going to hold on to those for right now. I'm not immediately going to run over to market because I just sold some over there. 
I don't want to create like a massive glut in the market here. Instead, what I'll do is just once again tell people that we're amazing. I'm going to do that right in front of our store. Say, look at this grave digging site here. Look at my wife diligently digging graves, hollowing out people's skulls. Yes, it might be your mother's skull. I don't know. And putting fish oil in them and setting fire to it. Would you like to walk home with a skull lamp at a very reasonable price? Yes, it might be your mother. Now, while I'm just sitting around telling people that we're amazing, are there any fishing folk in the area? Maybe I can just go get my own fish oil directly from the fishers. Fisher persons? Fishermen? Fisher people? The people who put the pole in the water. Or nets. I understand you can do it with nets, too. Aha! Oh, it's a fishing spot. That's not actual, like, a fishing where you sell the fish. Kind. I don't know. If, if it was meat, I'd say butcher. I don't know what you say for fish. Fish butchers? I don't know. Is there a fish butcher around here? What are you? You're a tavern. Not really what we're looking for. A croft. Uh, robber camp? Yeah, we got one of them. Orchards? I mean, I'm ostensibly looking for an icon of a fish. That's a fishing spot. I don't immediately see one. That's a pretzel, and I'm all about that. That's a pest house. Probably not so much with that tavern joinery. I'm not immediately seeing... Uh, well, you know what? Let's just narrow this down. How about not all businesses, just that business? Can we filter it by that? Hmm. Businesses? I want... No, no, no. Take, take all of this out. Take all of this out except for just businesses. Can I highlight this? Um, sort of, vaguely. Huh. Okay, that's a little easier to see. So, fishing. Fishing. Really, is nobody doing fishing around here? Because there's several good fishing spots. I've seen them on the map. Huh. Well, maybe I should have gone into fishing if nobody else is doing it. Oh, now I'm, now, now I'm torn. Now I've announcement of the Guild of Craftsmen. What's your problem? Work in any army camp. Oh, God, no. Do I look like the military type? Absolutely not. Aldhouse has acquired a new title. What? Can we can we see what their title is? Uh, is that you? Is that you in here? Uh, London house that I built. Oh, no, no. I don't want to spy on them. That's fine. Oh, there we go. Down there. Aldhouse. All right. So can I see Josephine? Uh, hold hold tight, Josephine. Um, let me t talk to me about Josephine, Josephine. Let's have... Wow. That is not a flattering color for you. Let's talk Josephine, shall we? You are the head of the family. Okay. And you are married. All right. So somebody looked at that dress and said, yeah, I want that for the rest of my life. You're extremely charismatic. You're only level two. Can I see, like, what what is your, what is your title exactly that you just gained? Because I want to know how far behind I am. And I think the answer is very far behind. All right, we got a couple of lamps that we've made here, so I'm going to grab those. We're out of fish oil again because, you know, we've used up what we've got. I'm going to go somewhere else, like anywhere else, and sell these. I, I genuinely feel I'm creating a glut in the market down here. Uh, go down here, and then when you're down there, we'll sell the... Where are we going? Maidstone? Okay, so we're going to go to Maidstone and sell these things off, and then I'll tell people that we're amazing. Wait, didn't we have another baby? Uh, where's Gypsy? Gypsy, there you are. How old are you? You're only one. Okay, you can't do anything at all. Yeah, sorry, Gypsy. I kind of forgot about you in the in the heat of selling skull lamps. I forgot we had a third child in there. Um, no, Pat, you want to do something different? I, I, you've been stacking boxes for a really, really long time. Um, why don't you why don't you stop doing that? Okay. Is there anyone now around here who wants to play? So go out and play. Now I'm looking for people in green, and I. Don't really see any at all. How about in another town, maybe? Is there any... Ch Wait, hang on. Were you green? No, no, that was just a tree. I mean, I could tell him to go play with a tree, but that seems like a very dull day. No, nothing really kicking around in terms of playing. Again, hunting rats, stacking boxes, or apologize to the neighbors. You little rascal, you're always up to no good. There must be something you have to apologize for. Yeah, that sounds about right. Just say sorry. It'll improve your family's reputation in the village. Okay, let's do that. Uh, go apologize, like, right in the middle of the market. I don't know what you're apologizing for, Notepad. Where, where are you going? Oh, are you, like, chasing someone to apologize to? Oh, right, Adam here. You're going to apologize to Adam. Very sorry, Adam. Whatever it is we did, we're very, very sorry. Well, I've made it over to Maidstone, finally, so let's get these things sold off here. I'll pick up some more fish oil while I'm in the neighborhood. Uh, in fact, it's right here, so why don't we... Oh, I don't have any space. Of course I don't. Uh, sell these off first, so get rid of those. Ooh, 
Not a very good price around here, is it? You know what? I'll take what I can get. I just want literally any money right now. Actually, that wasn't that bad. Twelve thirty-five. dollars uh, I'll take a little bit of fish oil. That'll gut mo- Wait, no. I'll take a little bit of fish- A little bit of fish oil? Do you not have fish oil? Oh, you have zero fish oil. Okay, well then I'm not buying any fish oil from you, sir. Again, while I'm here, why don't we just tell people that we're just unbelievably amazing right in this market. Let me swing back to town. Julia, what are you doing? Oh, you must be coming back from the graveyard. Um, go to... You know what, Julia, that's fine. Go do your thing, and I'm going to try and figure out where we live. We live over here. I found us, Julia. Uh, what else could I be doing while I'm over there? I mean, apart from picking up fish oil that doesn't exist. Alan, what are you doing? You're getting some bones. You're off in the graveyard, too. Okay, that's that's fine. I can cope with this. Teenage Howard, are you actually doing anything? Oh, you're doing your air quotes juggling thing again. Yeah, we, we mostly just call that goofing off. But hey, whatever you're into, kid. Whatever. If you can scare up a few coins with that, that oh, somebody just ran over Howard. That horse isn't moving. Oh, actually, Teenage Howard and I were right next to each other, and I didn't know it. Um, I, I'm not looking over your shoulder, man. It's just that you're a very, very silly person. Um, I'm going to compliment. Oh, you're off. I'm going to compliment your achievements. You made actually, you made some money there, man. You made some money there because there was like tons of people over here. Okay. No, 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 no. Stay here, man. This ogre, all right, all right, Howard, Howard, I, I have divined your problem. Your problem is that you don't know where the people are. So when you do this in the middle of town, this silly little goofing off pop and lock dance thing that you do, you actually make a decent amount of money. Look at this guy. He's got the right idea. You read somebody's palm for 12 gold. Stop going away. Don't go to the woods. Nobody lives there. You need to stay here like all the time and do this. You actually generated a decent amount of in income there, Teenage Howard. No, we're not going to blow it all in a new suit for you. All right, we're reading palms again over here. I'm, I'm off me. I'm doing, I don't know what I'm doing. I think I'm telling people we're amazing. I want to see what Howard's doing. So you're reading a palm and it's going very well. You're actually reading your own palm. We've discussed this in the past, haven't we, Howard? That's not really how this works. Um, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Slow that down. I, what did you do? You failed. You still got some XP, though. And you don't like us anymore, it looks like. It looks like you may, you went minus one on us. You're not as big a fan of us, probably because we told you you're going to die soon. But hey, you know what? It's the medieval era. You probably are going to die soon. All right. I perfectly told people that we're amazing. A little bit of XP for that. Uh, no chance that in the meantime, while I was doing that, we actually generated any fish oil in the market, is there? Maybe I should have gone into the fishing game. Nobody has fish oil right now. Uh, do you have fish oil? Uh, yeah, actually, you do. All right, you got a little in stock. Ooh, it's a little pricey there. It's a little pricey. Am I going to risk the fact that it might be cheaper at home? It's not as... It's, it's like a difference of six. I think I'll live with it. So just get me six of those. Confirm that, please. And let's get out of here and go home. Well, quite a bit later in the day, and I'm finally rolling home here. Let's drop off that fish oil. Gang will appreciate. Yes, I got the fish oil, hun. I had to wait until they actually fished some fish and then, I don't know, pressed it into oil. I don't really know how that works. I will take these bone bracelets while I happen to be here. You guys have done a great job on that. Made quite a few of those. Fish oil for the lamps. Off you go. And then you are making, yep, you're right into making a lamp. Alan, you got the right idea, man. This is why I gave you a management position, because you are just so wonderfully self-sufficient. I give you fish oil, you're like, hey, you know what I could do with that? I could hollow out somebody's skull, put the oil in there, and set fire to it and sell it to somebody. And I'm like, yeah, that is the way to go, Alan. I'm going to go over to the market, sell off the things that I just got, because I notice I might be able to actually afford to open a new business, well, at least unlock it. Oh, no, Padge, you finished apologizing to people. Good, it's about time. Why don't you, uh, why don't you go, no, 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 don't go out and play, because there's probably nobody here, is there? No, again, there's just no kids in this neighborhood. It's not a very family-friendly neighborhood. Why don't you go back to the stacking boxes thing? There you go. Off you go. Stack, no, stack, 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 stack. Notepad, stack boxes over here. All right, now where did I get off to? I'm over here. Okay, sell my things, please. All right, so those... Go away. All right, 1693. Getting there. Getting there. You know what? Just go ahead and spend the money. All right, here we go. Here's the choice. So, pottery. Right. Or tinker. 
cauldrons and pine planks. That seems kind of low rent. And then the craftsmen were actually starting to make some weapons. Iron, crude weapon hilt, and a dagger. I feel that's the way to go, but pottery sounds more fun, frankly. And that's bucket of water and obviously probably some clay. We're going to need clay. Pottery? I'm off Tinker. Forget. Well, actually, what does Tinker lead to? Torches and wooden shields. And then we're down into woodworking after that. That's probably some decent money right there. We can make that oak wood ring. I just bought myself one of those. Ruby staff and then a crossbow and a horse-drawn cart. That all sounds good, but that's a long, long, long way off. I have to be a baron to make a horse-drawn cart. That ain't happening today. How Pottery or craftsman? Pottery? Pottery? Pottery. I'm doing it. I'm just, I'm just, it sounds more fun to do pottery than to, I, I probably just illuminated the comments going, no, no, dear God, man, you should have gone craftsman, make weapons. Pottery sounds more fun. Now, what does it actually take to do that? So storage, pottery hut, I need 1250. Okay, that is reasonable. I can come up with that, not today, but probably tomorrow slash two years from now. Like, what? What do you want? Guild of Craft... What is it that you want? Okay, you're done with your thing. Stop emailing me. See if I can do that public relations thing, um, where we specifically talk to one person. City Guard, you look like a transporter because you're running. Come here, come here. All right, go talk to City Guard Matthew. I got a 66% chance. I got a two-thirds percent chance. Two-thirds percent? No, that's not how that works. A two-thirds chance of actually convincing him that we both had a splendid time in the tavern. I don't remember most of that city guard, but if we had a good time and you had a good time, just fill me in on the details, but leave out the really gory parts. Now, is he gonna fall for this? So we're saying, yeah, we had a great time. I rarely go to the tavern. You must be confusing me with someone else. Yeah, as I say, my memory of that night is a little blurry. You're probably right. It's probably that guy with the torch right there. So that's a fail. That's a fail right there, I'm sure. Uh, yep, failure. All right, and he doesn't like us as much anymore. I actually lost influence on that. It's it actually a negative. Well, back to telling people that we're amazing, I guess. Hey, Teenage Howard, can I direct you to do your juggling in, a, like, a place where people exist? So if I pulled you over here, I wonder how that would work. Um, Teenage Howard, Teenage Howard, come here. Talk to me. Um, you see, this is the problem over here. You're over here in the middle of nowhere. You did something correct. You got 11 gold for that. I'm... I wanted to basically fire Teenage Howard and dismantle the robber camp because it doesn't seem to be generating money. But he is quietly ticking away tiny, tiny little bits of money all the time without my intervention. I have to do nothing with Teenage Howard. He's just off doing his own thing. It's been like four years. He's never checked in with me. He just sends me gold. So it might be better off just to keep him. Not a lot of money, to be sure. But to what? What is your problem? There's a snowstorm. Yes, I can see that. It's on my screen. What's your problem? A vote. Okay. Um, do I need to know about this? Okay, proposal to change city laws. Illegal to smuggle rum. Illegal to paralyze people. Illegal to agitate the revelers or spy on a building. But pickpocketing, totally legal. Uh, yeah, I mean, do, do I have to vote? The outcome is yes. Yes, we are legal on pickpocketing. Oh, Howard? Now, that's not actually a thing I can do, right? I mean, I assume that's a teenage Howard kind of thing. My next one up is ambushing people, but I need robber camp too, and that is still illegal. So you can pickpocket people. You just can't ambush them. You can steal from them. It just can't be a surprise. You can't shock them while you do it. You have to do it very quietly and subtly. Pickpocketing, no problem. Ambush, that's a problem. Gee, I got a pretty good crowd around me, and by pretty, pretty good crowd, I mean two people are wicked into this. Wicked into this. Matilda was all over that. Perfect. 28 XP off of that. Um, how's my cooldown on the whole public relations thing? Can we publicly relate to people right now? No, don't tear down a pamphlet. Don't bribe people. That was very silly. No, we're still on cooldown on that. That's fine. I'm going to give that another shot. In the meantime, I'm just going to keep doing the thing that I'm doing there because while I'm doing that, Julia and Alan are very diligently making more bracelets and more skull lamps. In fact, we've got three skull lamps. That's going to be a decent amount of money, probably enough to actually open up this business. Fake plant, do you have nothing to do? Really? What's, hang on, what's under dubious and covert again? Begging, 
Distract guard, no thank you. Raid the kitchens. What's that going to do? If you're successful, your health will improve. But they're probably going to hate us. Release the fleas. I don't think we've got a lot of um, competition in the area in terms of grave digging. No, go back to the bit where you were doing things that actually mattered, like stacking boxes at the market. Go ahead and stack some boxes over there, kid. Join your brother and, and or sister. I'm not actually 100%. All right, I'm just wrapping up here. Success. We got a little tiny tick of influence. Boy, that is a slow burn on that influence after spending it all. It took me so long to accumulate that, too. Well... Opening a new business will help with our influence. That will generate that up a little bit more. I'm going to swing over and grab whatever Julia and Alan made, bring it back to market, and that should push me over the limit for what I need to do the thing that I want to do. So I'm going to grab... No, you did a great job with these guys. Fantastic job. I'm going to take them to market. I know I should probably go to a different market, but here we are. This one's nice and close by. So I'm going to grab all of this stuff out of here. I will try and pick up some more fish oil if I can afford it, but we're getting into the pottery game soon. Yeah, there we go. Not bad. 1710. We got some good prices for those. Ah, uh, do I want to do this now or do I want to just wait until tomorrow slash next year? I kind of just want to wait until some tomorrow slash next year. At least do it in daylight for nothing else. But that should be it, right? I should be able to comfortably do that now. Yeah, Pottery Hut, twelve fifty. Anytime I want, I can slap that down. I'm also going to have to hire some employees, though. So I'm going to need a little bit more money than that. Probably my best move... Yeah, my best move is to get some more fish oil. And then um, actually, you know, have Julia and Alan make the things that are making us the money. No, I got it, hun. I got it. I got the fish oil. It's right here. I got eight of them this time. So that's four lamps right there. And in the meantime, you created three more bracelets. You guys are flying on that. Look at you. 107% efficiency, Julia. You are... You're just great. I barely pay attention to you except when we need to have a child. I know, that sounded really terrible, Julia. But look at how good you are at the business side of things. You are crafting bone bracelets. Alan is sound asleep. Alan is taking the night off, slash the year off. You, 107% efficiency. This is why we got married. Well, 1.30 in the morning the next day, slash year, and we got the money to do it. Overnight, somebody bought something out of the front store there. That was a little tick up of money right there. I just wanted to see if in the meantime I could do the whole public relations thing. So who might want to be publicly related to in the area? 33% on you. No, you don't want to do that. Nobody around. It is 2 o'clock in the morning. I'm not surprised there's not a whole lot of people around. Maybe she's just wait. That horse isn't moving. Maybe, maybe I should just wait until later. 50% uh, on you. You're Tamara the robber. Do I really care about you? Uh, Jonathan, you're 66%. I'm going to give it a shot on you. Uh, you deserve more joy in life. Would you like to come to the tavern with me? Apparently, that's what I do there. Now oh, he doesn't need relaxation. He needs profitability. Step aside. Now he hates us. Yeah, we're, we're, we're not terribly good at this. Next level up, I gotta dump something into Charisma. Bet we'd get infinitely better at that. Well, infinite, not at all. Finitely better. Finitely better. There would be a demonstrable and clear number that would go up. It would not be infinite at all. We're at 1356. Guys, did you make anything while I was here? Yeah, actually, you made a ton of stuff while I was here. Confirm that. Confirm that and get all of this stuff over here. Yep, ev all of this is coming to market with me. You've still got two fish oil left, but I need a quick... Did I actually put that in my own inventory? Uh, me, come here. No, I put that in Julia's inventory. That was very silly, Dave. That was extremely silly. I'm not anywhere near the house. Yeah, they put that immediately back into the front store. Okay, let's try that one more time. Me... Come here. No, I know, Julia. I know you were going to get a little excursion to the market. I'm sorry. I need you focused on digging through the dirt in the snow. That's going to be frozen ground. That's going to be really hard to do. But you are a trooper, Julia. You are a trooper. Next time we need a child, I will totally check in with you. Okay, a few bone bracelets and a few skull lamps. It might be your mother. I don't know. How does that do? 2215. Good enough. Good enough to do what I want to do, which is get this pottery shop opened up here. So let's go to this. Let's go to Pottery Hut, the Beaker Maker. No, I think we can do better than that. Yeah, Graves for you will be global, and so will Pots You Like. Pots You Like. This is just the first of many pottery-based stores that will open. I, again, I want to keep this nice and local. I don't want to have to walk very far to do this. Pots You Like goes right there. $12.50 for that. Okay, 
that is some money. It'll take a little bit of time to get that built. So in the meantime, let's continue to tell people that we are absolutely amazing, even though there's literally nobody here except my own children. And uh, they're going to be wicked hard to convince because I've had them stacking boxes in a blizzard. All right, pots you like, up and running, up and running. What can we do about this information? We've got a little bit of clay in here and a little bit of water. Well, the well is at the market, so we're not going to have to go very far to get water. We can make a clay pot, a beaker, or a weight stone. Right on. That's fine. Uh, let's get, well, let's get a worker in here. Obviously, we need to do that. So, there's nobody I can assign for my children. Now, I, I could do it myself, but I feel I should be, like, going out. No, 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 no. Okay, I fired myself, which was very demoralizing. Let's try that one more time. A worker somebody else 200 for this okay i'll cope with that i'll cope with that how about we just try and do this the way i am told i should be doing just go for automation who are you by the way norman welcome to the team you might meet alan at some point he's very very good if i just said automate you norman you're gonna try and make clay pots and weight stones what do we need for a weight stone what is the problem here copper and granite well we're never gonna get that so don't bother uh, just go straight to beakers. Just bypass weight stones straight to beakers and then get yourself some butter. I will get you the clay. This is the, I will get you the clay because I'm right here. So let's go ahead and be me and let's go get some, how much money do I have? Uh, not as much as I might like. All right. Thankfully, clay is dirt cheap. Aha, it is kind of dirt, isn't it? In its own special way. Dirt, you see, dirt cheap. You see what I did? Dirt cheap. It's clay. It's not really dirt. I get that. It's not soil. But, you know, it's kind of in the ground. My whole house sits on a huge bed of clay, and I've dug a lot of clay out of that ground. Okay, so let's just buy the clay. Let's just stop talking about dirt versus clay and buy the clay. Now I've got a lot of clay. So let's bring that back to pots you like. No, no, actually walk there, dude. Don't just pretend. And drop this off for Norman. Yeah, welcome, Norman. No, I'm I'm, I'm very glad that I hired you. I hired you on a whim. I've never met you in my life. But I'm sure you're going to be a very valuable addition to the team. You're already into some vases here. What are these? A, a clay pot. Yeah, you're already into that. You've made one. Well, it is early. I'm gonna, I'll grant you that. You probably need like whatever the medieval version of a cup of coffee is to get going because you're only 87% efficient right now. You know what? Throw a little java down the throat. You'll be fine, man. Now, can I go get my own water? I actually don't know the answer to this. Or do the employees have to do that? Like, this guy's getting water. This guy's getting water right here. Can I do that? Can I just go like get water from here or does Norman have to do it? I'm going to find out in a sec and then I want to check in on Julian and Alan see if they got anything to sell because I am a little bit shy on the old money right now after putting up pots for you. Oh yeah, I can just sit here and do this all day, I think. Yeah, go, um, I want that. Make, make that happen. Um, sure. Yeah, 20. Okay, so I just got to sit here and do this. That's fine. I will sit here and do this. I really don't have a heck of a lot else going on right now. Yeah, between graves for you and pots you like, if I act as my own transporter and kind of get the stuff they need. Now, they're still going to go out and dig the graves. That's cool. The, the grave thing is a long way away. So it's, you know, six of one, half dozen of the other if they go do it or if I go do it. But in terms of the pottery hut, I can absolutely be acting as my own transporter there. And then I can pick up whatever Julia and Alan sell over here. Teenage Howard's just kind of off on his own trip. Where are you these days? Uh, you found a human. That's cool. Yep, you're right into that. You're reading this human's palm. Again, you're reading your own palm. This guy is very surprised. Don't surprise him, Teenage Howard. I guess that's against the law. Now, didn't go well for Teenage Howard. City Guard Matthew did not like the fortune that he was given, so a little bit of a hit there. Uh, how's the water collecting doing? Yeah, we got buckets of water. Cool. Uh, Alan, Julia, hun, uh, how are you doing on making things out of people's dead relatives? A uh, little slow, a little slow. Oh, and I'm getting a little bit of XP doing this, too. Not much, but plus two every bucket of water. That's not the worst thing. I'll take it. I'm, like, I'm actually done now, too. So get this last bucket of water here. Let's bring that over to the pottery place and get that put in. Oh, a little bit of XP. If I'd known that, I would have been getting bot uh, bottles of bottles of water. Buckets of water all day. All right, drop this off over here. That should keep you going for a while, Chief. That's a lot of clay and a lot of water. How much does it take for each one? Two clay, one water. Fair enough. 
that's fine. Uh, let's get the front store set up here. So what are you doing right now? Clay pots, you're doing none. Well, let's do some. How about there's... You seem to make these fairly... Did you go get your own water, Norman? I was at... The... We passed each other. We passed each other in the street. Did you not see I had 20 buckets of water in my hand, kid? Yeah, let's put, say, I don't know, uh, three, five. I don't know how fast he's going to make these. I'm going to keep it at three. Uh, beakers, two, weight stones. Yeah, don't obviously sell any buckets of water. That's a ridiculous idea. Why did you do that, Norman? Norman, that was very silly of you. Thankfully, it's not far away. It's not like the graveyard where they're going halfway across the map. I'm just going to keep... Uh, you know what? Maybe I should promote this business. That might be an idea. Uh, not that, not that. Where's the prom Oh, it's in under business, Dave. Uh, promote my business. Okay. That. Yeah, let's do that. Let's promote pots you like. Well, Norman's back and he's off and running. I'm just kind of keeping a vague eye. Yeah, he makes these very quickly. These go very fast. Nice. I like that. We've already made like seven of them for some clay and some water, which is relatively cheap to do. Nadine's in. Oh my god, Nadine bought all of those pots. Nadine, you bought every... Oh, no, you didn't. You returned them. Uh, we have a no return policy, Nadine. No receipt, no return. Get out of my store. I don't know if she returned them or we just restocked them. I'm, I'm not really 100% on that. But one way or another, we at least had a visitor to Pots You Like, the brand new business here in town. How's Julian Allen doing? Okay, we're making some things. We're making a bracelet. We're a little slow today. We're having a rough start getting and We probably have to take a trip to the graveyard. Yeah, Alan's in the graveyard just getting human remains as he does. And Julia, you seem to be kind of stalled. Why are you... Resume working. Why were you stalled on that? Did I accidentally tell you to do something? That's entirely possible. That sounds like something I should do. Uh, speaking of something I should do, I should check in on my children. Uh, where, where, do they, where are they these days? Uh, notepad. Gypsy, you're still too young to do anything. Notepad, you are doing what? You're doing nothing at all. Well, that's wholly unacceptable. Uh, why don't you stack boxes at the market? Uh, go ahead and stack, stack boxes at the market. There you go. Boxes ahoy. And fake plant, you're also doing nothing. Why don't you do the uh, the rat hunting thing? No, 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 not not distracting a guard. That's a terrible idea, kid. Go, uh, I don't know, there's probably rats in an orchard. Go get some rats out of there. Yeah, Norman's doing okay. We got a lot of stuff made so far. I'm going to go ahead and, um, well, take it off your hands, frankly. Uh, let's go, yeah, here we go. Let's take all of these beakers... Yep, that, and all of these pots that you're making very diligently, good work, and that, and all of these. Let's go see how much this is going to make. And I've got, I've still got plenty of clay and water. I don't really need to come back with anything, although I should probably get some more fish oil. All right, what kind of return on my investment am I getting here? Uh, that, and that. Not bad. Not bad. Not like a zillion gold, but... Boy, he makes those things fast, and I can get a quick return on that. I like this. I think I like pots for you. I think this is going to do fine. Let me grab, while I'm here, just a little bit more fish oil. Yeah, they've got plenty of it in stock. Uh, give me, like, four of those, please, because I know I already have some back at Graves for You. That's obviously a big hit to my money. Everyone is still probably saying, you should have become a fisherman. Drop off the fish oil and pick up the lamp. And whatever bracelets you guys have made, not much. I know Alan was out at the graveyard, coming back, obviously, with a ton of human remains, because that's not creepy at all. And what's the next move? The next move is Citizen. Wow. That's a lot of influence. The money I can get, I can make that money. I made a lot of money today. I just spent a lot of money, too. But, boy, that influence, 250 Well, you know what? I'm already at 102 That's not terrible. Might be able to pull that together. Let's start that party by, of course, as always, telling people that we're just absolutely amazing. Uh, me, come here. We're going to go tell people that we're absolutely amazing right about here. That is probably an excellent place to call it on the Guild 3 for today. Pots you like. Up and running. Up and running. And look at that. We've already made two beakers since the last time I checked in. Two whole beakers since the last time I checked in. I got a good feeling about pots you like. I think that's going in the right direction there. But we'll pick up some more of the Guild 3 next time. Guys, do please keep the comments coming in. Let me know what you're thinking of this. And hey, if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up. No end when people do that. And if you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. See more of this ridiculous nonsense.
Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours, and we'll see you next time. You know, an argument could have been made that spending an obscene amount of money on researching the theater just so I can get a sign that says Electric Boogie Lou may not have been my smartest move. That is a strong argument, and that's an argument that you'd probably win, frankly. Wow, naked guy sticks his hand in a beehive. This, this can't end well. I don't know where I would see a leather carpet, but I'm going to imagine I have to pay an entry fee to see it. I have a cylinder. (laughs) (laughs) I I broke Dave. Broke Dave. <laughs> Talk about yourselves on the back. <laughs> I just dropped my controller. <laughs> oh my goodness.